All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, how are you? I hope you're all right, because I'm doing fine. And we've got, uh, we've got Byzantium to get back to, finish up, and, you know, help out on. Okay, Ada isn't trying to make out with, uh, Sam. Let's bring back our good old girl, Pravati. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. All right, ladies, back up to the surface. We're probably what's about 15 feet above us. Maybe even less. I'm stop making a fool of myself. If I spit, think I can hit that mechanical down there? You'll get in trouble. No, I won't. I'll blame it on you. <laughs> Why would you tell her that? Oh my god, okay. Anti Creole energizing ointment. Alright, let's go see if we can find uh, Dr. Chandra or Chat. or Chartrand? Uh, however the hell you say that? Charge Rand? There we go. Nope, that's not the stairs. This is the stairs. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Yeah. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. Yeah, that's we the best really part. We never really had new folks in the except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Oh, that Could be sucks. a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. That that's also true. A real lot of people aren't that nice. All right, where are we headed? Over this way. You must be joking. Our fair city is being overrun. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Excuse me. Last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. <laughs> I take it she's been bothering you for a while there, buddy. What's up with you? How splendid. Another rung leech wandering through the streets of Byzantium. Fuck you too. Why, just this morning I thought to myself, as lovely as the gardens are, what they really need is more greasy vagrants frolicking through them. And here you are, frolicking. <laughs> Graceful, I might add. Uh, guys, do I frolic? That's rude way to greet someone. The grease is part of my rugged bad girl charm. <laughs> What a coincidence, just now I thought I'd really like to sock a lady in the face. I don't reckon so. Maybe she's talking about me? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely the greasy one. Well, whatever you call it, do it elsewhere, and take your merry band with you. Honestly, what is the board thinking letting so many of your ilk into the city proper? It's madness. Uh, what's wrong with more people coming to Byzantium? If the board isn't supposed to let people in the city, how'd you get here? Um, I'm afraid you're mistaking me for someone who cares! Oh my god. I earned my place here, just like everyone else. Did my you? grandfather was the CIO at Tile, you see. Wait, but what'd you do to earn your place here? I just told you. My grandfather made millions of bits as CIO, and I earned them from him. Inheriting bits isn't the same thing as earning. Yeah, yeah. This reminds me of how some people view economics. Uh, of course it is. Wealth is the most visible, objective measure of success. And success isn't given to you. It's earned. My grandfather taught me that. If you have wealth, you're successful. And if you're successful, you must have earned it. 
Honestly, it's a simple concept. But what did you do to earn it, <laughs> is the question. Chief Idea Officer. He came up with all the best ideas for their products. You know the font they use for Stogie Slims? That was him. Well, he described the idea of it to their font development team, then picked it from a list of choices, but that's basically the same thing. It was a very long list. So he was either a marketer or in research and development. Let's see. He picked the colors they included in rainbow chips. No one else wanted purple, but he insisted. Everyone loves the purple ones. And you know how the Cosmic Smokes logo has an eye in the middle of a heptagon? He said that one came to him in a dream. He was a true visionary. So far ahead of his time. So he was a marketer. You're full of shit. You're welcome. Now, do we have any further business or are you just here for the repartee? Did you want to hire me for something? What's wrong? It erodes the very pillars of our society. Merit, decorum, personal hygiene. This city is meant for us, the system's finest. We earned its luxuries. But now we are overrun with the unworthy and the ungrateful, and this early retirement nonsense is making it even worse. That's a terrible attitude. You shouldn't look down on people like that. What's early retirement? I agree. Uh, no one should be handed anything. <laughs> oh, do spare me your petty judgment. It's beneath me. Millions and millions of bits beneath me. Yep, sure. By simply winning a lottery, those early retirees get an exclusive district of Byzantium to themselves. No one else is even allowed to go there. Tell me, how is that fair? Oh, let's see. Well, most contests have some inherent biases, so technically... Uh, well, it's not, but it's about as fair as you saying you earned all your money through inheritance. Oh, by the law. I mean the principle of it, not the mechanics. It's not right. I deserve to see any district I please. Why, if it weren't guarded, I'd... Hmm. You know, you look like you've been shot at before. What say I hire you to investigate this travesty, and you get paid to do so? How much? She's got a point. We're probably gonna get shot at anyway. Might as well make a few bits. Yes. Listen to your... Your... What is that person's job exactly? Are they your secretary? Personal masseuse? Or do you just keep them around as a mobile armrest? Well, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you think this is a fabulous arrangement, and you'd be thrilled to lend me your services. Aren't you? Did the word bodyguard just escape her? <laughs> uh, why would I ever help them uh, with something so selfish? How much? How much? How much? Fantastic. Consider yourself employed, Vagrant. Fuck off. How I much? I hear the chosen retirees all enter the retirement district via the port landing pad, but it's completely locked down. You'd never get in that way. Unless, of course, you had a wealthy, beautiful benefactor of impeccable social pedigree, which you do. How fortunate for you. Wait, who is she? These codes will get you past the lockdown. Oh, and don't worry about subtlety. I don't care how you deal with security, just correct this injustice at all costs. <sighs> how did you get the access codes? The same way anyone gets anything here, of course. I made friends with the right people. Bits might earn you a place in Byzantium, but that means everyone here has little need for more of them. For favors like this, you need to spend... Let's call it social capital. Oh dear God, did you sleep with somebody? Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's go see if we can talk to the doctor. Jesus Christ. All right, everything seems quiet. Strangely quiet. I'm gonna be honest, I, I sincerely hate people like Hortense. You think the privy's gold-plated, too? Oh, shit. Okay, so there are no guards around, even though there is... Never mind, it's an ammo crate that's empty.
Wait. Where'd the quest marker go? Oh. Directly below us. Alright, let's see if we can find an access code or something. Good, you compromised. We continue. And another relocation. See, ever since our species became aware of itself, we. Huh. That was a trick. And now. Hmm. Be on your guard, ladies. That's top of the line equipment. Better than most hospitals, even. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? I'm the one asking the questions. Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. You're welcome. Hagen. I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. She runs sublight. Let's see. Why would the board want she dead? That's a gentlewomanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. Yeah, she's crazy. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. Uh, you've been to Cascadia and Station 1084. I know all your dirty secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Sublight took over the lab. Human aquariums are probably just office decor. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. Uh, what were you trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. Crisis what crisis? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Uh, this is startling, but doesn't explain the research I found. Wait, you're telling me this is all about vegetables? Why do you always have corporate guards in your home? The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Adaptation didn't save your research team. All you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. Hold on, what about the aliens? Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I'm surprised you didn't have more support from the board. There are other teams. We didn't want to experiment on human test subjects, so we used the only resources we had. Each other. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Isn't, the Cornor isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? Uh, the board wants to adapt entire population of Halcyon. That's okay. It's been missing for over two years now. They never reestablished contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. 
Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Damn, it was that big? Uh, Lilia sent me a after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. Colonists might get unruly if they realize uh, there only one uh, there was only one boot on their neck instead of two, I guess. Uh, if the board authority is vulnerable, that's a crisis waiting to unfold. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Enough, where do we go from here? The board wants to adapt. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. It might not be possible. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. You know, Phineas Wells, if you work with him, I'll spare you. Keep working with the board's plan to save Halcyon. I'll leave you be. What do you think, Ellie? Vivadi, how do you think we should handle this? I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. It seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. I don't want to kill her. Uh, let's see. I mean, he's crazy, but he's good at what he does, so he might be able to help, but... The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. <laughs> Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? Uh, in the future, try to stay away from plans to <laughs> hack our species. So there's really no aliens conspiracy. Uh, that didn't take much convincing. If working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Because I'll kill you otherwise. Uh, it's less work than handling my corpse out here, isn't it? Wrong answer. Oh my god, my Captain? fucking... Oh boy, okay. Hold on a second, let me plug this in. And I don't know why I'm not doing any bit of damage. Right, let's try this. He's down. There we go, come on. There we 
we go. Ellie went down. I didn't notice that. doesn't like me anymore and that's fine I hope dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project he may or may not but he can certainly find it <laughs> or steal it Is she gonna get mad if I take that? Miss Grant, I saw that. Okay. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just be careful next time. <laughs> I love how that works. It makes no sense. Okay, uh, let's actually go do that. What is, let's do this one first before we tackle the main one. Let me take a look at the reputation for the board. Oh, they got mixed feelings about me now? That's fine. <laughs> That's totally Dr. fine. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Ha! Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. I hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Why well, you gotta shoot her down like that? <laughs> I only wish they weren't showing so many Spacer's Choice ads in the commercial. Am I going the right way? Maybe, perhaps, yes. Try as you clear. It wouldn't make your I can't dance for shit. of them finally is it just me or are we getting more and more retired recently not just <laughs> welcome to the halcyon holdings corporation early retirement center Thank you, you, the lucky few, have been selected to spend the rest of your days living the high life in your own private district in Byzantium. When Early retirement fun facts. 
When you arrive, you'll be whisked away to your very own luxury penthouse. <laughs> You're special. Furnished oh my exclusively God. by 24 7 Furniture's Deluxe Falskowood Collection. Some assembly required. 24 7 Furniture is not responsible Some for any injury, psychological damage, or divorce litigations that occur during the assembly process. Divorce litigation? You get settled in. You'll have the chance to explore your new home. Oh. Why not go for a bite? At one of our many restaurants, like CMP's Blazing Borst Barbecue, or Rizzo's All You Can Crunch Cereal Buffet. Or maybe you'd like to head to the bar and enjoy. <laughs> Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Although in the early retirement district, nothing will. All this and more will be complimentary for the entirety of your stay. Courtesy of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, you won't have to spend a bit. I don't like this. This gets more and more uh, disgusting as we go down. More terrifying. Oh my. Oh shit. Go back up. Unexpected noise. I learned the beginning of security. Oh my. Oh no, 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 no. Pezzo di merda. Andiamo. No, what? None of this, please. That's down, I think. No, we are not all good. Now we're good. Maybe not. Good. I guess he's clean up the rest of the blood. Let's take a look around. What we can find. I got They even killed some of the guards down here. Me. 
Can I? There we go. Can we get in here? No. Can we get in here? No. Ah. Okay, this is two different levels of loading screen, I think. Maybe they're forcing people into er, er, early retirement because they can't feed them? I don't, I don't know why they would be doing this. All right, we're in. Nice and easy. Oh no. Unexpected security. You got to teach me that. I thought this would have been like a uh, room where the terminal to shut them all down is. Y'all in here? Nope, Pravati's not. There you go. All right, what's going on? Why can't I? Why can't? It's. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Blast our way through these tunnels, but we're good. There we go. What did what did she go off to do? System. Performing. Clean this up, right? All right. Let's just take a look around. Oh wow. Ooh, we got the drop on us. All right, Jesus. The door open yet yeah, is open. Oh 
Okay. Oh, Ellie went down. That that makes sense. Seven. So let's check around here. Just for anything to loot, really. Just pools of water. I did see something else this way, though, didn't I? Or maybe it just led me around in a circle? Because this is the way I came in, I think. Yep. This is the way I came in. So was it this? No, it was this way that I saw. No, maybe not. Maybe it was the other way. Oh, this didn't lead to anything. That's right. Okay. Well, let's go report back. This is disturbing. It has been disturbing. Okay. Hello. Oh, um, what are you doing here? Just came out of the tunnels. Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Maybe? Yeah, you're in big trouble. Why don't you tell me what you did? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. They escaped, and before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Uh, I could look for your sprats. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry, you can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes. An agreeable yet reserved demeanor and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. Right, for science, yeah. Uh, what are the maintenance tunnels beneath Byzantium 4? Why are the exterminators in the tunnels? Because there are sprats down there. Uh, I wonder why... You're so attracted to these spreads. Therefore, my, um, research. Oh, very well. 
It's true. I do run studies on them at the lab, but I also have a special connection with them. See, I'm an enormous fan of all my colonists. The early seasons, before the plot lines got tacky. You must have seen the classic episodes. No. Yeah, great stuff. Just tell me what this has to do with your sprats. Well, I name all my sprats after my favorite characters. That way, their stories can live on in rodent form. So you see, it's imperative that I get them all back. All right. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. That's way too self-aware. Not just names. They all have backstories, too. Oh, God. There's Lord Reginald Kim III, Lady Philippa Farnsworth, Vonda Von Vermington, Haroon Greenlee, Iskander Emmanuel Sanchez, and Evelyn Ensley Okoye. I'm actually sorry I asked. Oh. Uh, Something else? No, I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll go get them. Where the, oh, save the sprats. My god. Okay, we're about to go find a bunch of sprats or rats in a sewer for this idiot scientist. Lovely. Alright, let's go grab them. I hope I didn't kill them all. Oh my fucking... What the... Get back here, you little shit! Oh, in the crawl space there. Eat. the hell I get to this way I always overshoot the staircase Okay, well, let's try to get out of this horror show, give him his rats back, and go speak to Hortense. Up we go! Another 
There we go. Here you go, buddy. Any luck finding my sprats? Here you go. Truly? Why, this is marvelous! Oh, dear, it looks like some of my darlings have suffered violent misfortune. Nevertheless, it's good to have them back. Thank you for your help. I'm afraid I can't spare much, but I hope you'll accept this. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. Right. And let's go back to Hortense. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? Well... You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just... Shut I up. must admit, I'm getting a certain thrill out of our little arrangement. If this goes well, perhaps I'll start hiring wandering delinquents to handle all of my affairs. It is going well, I hope. Oh, dear lord. What? You mean it's just a sham they perpetuate so they can dispose of the rabble? That's... that's... brilliant. To take the most burdensome members of our society and simply remove them. Oh, I'll never doubt the wisdom of the board again. Why, I had no reason to be envious at all. What a relief. I really should have expected this reaction. And how else would I react? A vagrant such as yourself couldn't possibly appreciate the emotional burden this news has lifted from my shoulders. But regardless of your ignorance, I promised you a fee for your services, so a fee you shall have. Let's see, my, uh, sizable fee, you mean, uh, my sizable fee, Mia, unless you want to see the early retirement wing. No, no, that's all right. Sizable fee it is. My, you're really quite primal, aren't you? Fascinating. In any event, while I'm deeply grateful for the peace of mind you've brought me, I will need some solitude to fully bask in it. So if there's nothing further... Bye. Bitch. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Mr. Clark. Mr. Guard. All right, well, I think when we return, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we will finally look into Minister Clark and see what the main mission here has for us. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, um, if you're on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.